do this probably like once every year. Yeah. Fit all the dogs, clean all the kennels, fit all the dogs and raw. Um, yeah, man. So I had cryptic up here to eat, but she can't be in my. She cannot be in the garage. She can't. Only because her drive is super, super duper high, and um, so she dookie in her. She is stepping and spread it everywhere. Look at her. Come on. Come on. Come on. She is a backyard big kennel dog. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Oh, she following me, man. I don't got time to be chasing no dog. It's 1.30 in the morning. Um, I still haven't had my shower for the day. I need my shower. I need my shower. I need my rest so I can think properly. I've been up since early this morning going to the gym. They just ate like 10 pounds of ground beef. Um, I didn't even mix it in with the dog food. I just, I actually just put it in that in a bowl on top of the dog food. And, uh, I ain't gonna lie, this, uh, Come on. Come on, Cryptic. Let's go. She go ask Uncle Daddy. Cryptic. Damn it. What did I say? Patience is a what? Even in the comment section. Patience is a what? Crypto, don't let me drag you in this kennel. Let's go. What are you doing? It's just slow stuff, y'all. Not be in my kennels up up there. Can't. I put in the small one where so like whenever she do poop or something like that, and she step on it, it just go straight to the bottom of the can of the cage. You know, I clean my trays out two to three times a day. But she has a bite force like her daddy, like Navy. And just like her father, she destroys kennels. And she already started on destroying that one. So to prevent that from being completely destroyed, she's no longer allowed in those kennels, and she's no longer allowed in these kennels. Because she will poop and step in it and jump around. She'll throw it on the cage. Like, she will literally step in the poop and jump up here. And who has time for all that? Come on.
Biting. Good girl. Catch on really quick. Hey! No! No! You're gonna tore up all my pants I have. No! Hate to have to smack the shit out you, but you know. Cause your mama, I'll bite you. And I'm not putting my teeth on you, so. Deal with it. I'll go with the blues. I'll go with how active they are, how quick they are. I'll go with their temperament. Something about the blues, man. All right, y'all. As I said, it's morning, something in the morning. I'm gonna um, put these puppies back up so these dogs can be quiet. And my neighbors won't, um, cause this, this, okay, it's good to go. It's, that's selfish. And I'm not, I'm not doing it to my neighbors. My neighbors love me. So, I'll catch you guys in this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I will show you these puppies tomorrow. And uh, we're going to get their ears caught. Hey, no! No! We're going to get their ears caught. So, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss it. Also, I would be giving away a free dog in a thousand dollars cash. So a free dog in a thousand dollars cash. So you get a dog in a thousand dollars cash. That would give you an opportunity to get your kennel set up. So the kennels are five hundred bucks a piece. They give you the opportunity to get a kennel. Also, the dog house is two hundred dollars. So that's seven hundred dollars, and that leaves you three hundred dollars for dog food and all that. So you get a dog in a thousand dollars. So make sure you go. Subscribe, go follow the Instagram and pe Instagram page of NBF underscore kennel. So if Roxy took, that's a free puppy. Could be a Merle, could be a child Merle, could be whatever. You just never know. Um, so follow that Instagram at NBF underscore kennel for your chance to win a free puppy in a thousand dollar cash. I was gonna do like one person get a get a puppy, then I do ten people get a hundred dollars. But now nah, I want I want I want the person that buy that get the free dog have enough money to get set up and get started okay so that's how we're gonna do that make sure you like comment and subscribe